Kelly here with Pete's Place Lunch and Learn, and I'm here with Genevieve Rose. What is your job? I am a lash artist and a hairdresser at Mirage Salon in Westland. And why did you choose Mirage? I like the location. It's a really cute little Main Street area. The people that I work with are great. <coughs> Excuse me. And we also kind of have a built-in clientele. So it was pretty easy to build up clientele at this shop. Um, what is a private contractor and are you a private contractor? I am an independent contractor, yes. And basically that just means that I work for myself. I don't have anybody bossing me around. I schedule my own clients. I do my own taxes. Um, I am responsible to buy all of my own supplies. I'm basically responsible for myself. All right. What do you look for when you decide to work in a salon? I like to have compatibility with the other people working there. I think that the relationship between the different independent contractors is super important to create a nice vibe for your clients. Um, and like I said, this is on a main street in a suburb where there is, um, you know, there's welfare too. So there's people are have the ability to spend money because you want to have clients who will be able to afford your services. Um, what would you say to someone who wants to start their own beauty business? I would say get through school quickly and then do a couple really good apprenticeships. That's where you're really going to learn what you need to know to take the next step. Um, what schooling did you have to do? I did. It's a trade school, so it was a year and a half trade school. And then right after I got out of school, I did an apprenticeship. Um, how long do you have to go to school also? It really depends on the program. Some are by hours and some are by um, services that you uh, perform. So it depends on the school. But I would say anywhere between a year and a half and two and a half years. Um, what challenges did you face when you first started? There's just a lot to know. There's a lot to learn. Um, everybody's hair is different, for example. So you just have to practice and you have to mess up and you have to be able to do it gracefully. Um, the only way to learn how to do this trade is to practice. Um, how has COVID affected your business? You know, a lot of people just don't have the money to get services done anymore. So it's greatly impacted my business financially. Um, how long have you been a contractor? I'm so bad with time, but I would say about two and a half years. All right. And what's your favorite thing about being a contractor? I get to be my own boss. I don't have to listen to anybody. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> um, what's your favorite kind of hair to do? Like, what's your favorite kind of like style of balayage highlights? I like a nice set of highlights. Um, I also have a pretty extensive background in cutting, so I do really good haircuts. Um, but yeah, you know, the great thing about doing hair and lashes is you do get to perform a lot of different services. And I have a little bit of a tension deficit when it comes to repetitive work. So I would say I like all of them. I like mixing it up. All right, and, okay, and this is going to be my last question for you. Who is your competition and why? Well, just on the street alone, there's four or five salons. So I guess they would all be competition. Um, I feel like in this industry, you kind of attract what you project. So most of my clients are all really similar to me. So I don't really think of it as competition. I feel like the people that you're supposed to perform services on kind of seek you out. Um, I'm not competitive in nature. It's more just, um, you know, you just have to find your niche. All right, thank you. You're welcome.